In this video, I'll help you solve your issue if your HP Smart Tank, in my case, this one is the 5101, but maybe yours is a different model, is not connecting to your Wi-Fi network. So I'll show you a few different solutions and hopefully at the end of this video, your problem will be gone. So let's start with the easiest of them. I, I know it sounds stupid, but I need to tell you, you need to disconnect the printer from the back here, just unplug it, even if it's turned on, unplug it from your wall socket as well and wait five minutes. Then plug everything back together and hopefully this time you'll be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. This is a very simple restart that sometimes works. Now, if this didn't solve anything, one thing you can do is to reset the Wi-Fi of your printer. And to do so, it really depends on each model. I'll show you on mine and maybe yours have the same um, control panel over there. And if yours is not looking like mine, well, simply Google um, reset with your HP model. I'm sure you're gonna find something that will help you. So first step is to actually turn off your printer. Press once on the power button. Wait a few seconds until it does not make any sound and the screen is turned off. So what we need to do now is to press this top right corner button over here, the black copy button, at the same time has this button over here on the lower left side that has an arrow. We need to keep both press and then with your thumb we're gonna press the power button wants to power on the printer without releasing these buttons for five seconds. After five seconds, release them. So let me demonstrate so it makes more sense for you. So uh, right now the printer is turned off. I'm keeping both of these pressed and with my thumb I'll press once the power button and keep these press during five seconds. Okay? Okay, four seconds, five seconds and then I can release them. It does not have to be exactly five seconds. It's okay if it's six, seven. Now you just have to wait. All right, if this didn't solve your issue, another thing you can try doing is to bring this printer closer to your Wi-Fi router. Sometimes if, let's say, the printer is in another room, especially if you're in the basement and the router is upstairs, uh, these printers does not have a very strong Wi-Fi module, so they won't um, be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network simply because there's too much distance. So try adding a Wi-Fi repeater if you think this is an issue. And obviously you need to bring the printer closer to your router just to see if this is the cause. Now another thing you need to check is that some printers are not connecting to the 5 GHz network. Most of them are working with the 2.4 gigahertz. So in case, let's say you have already connected to your 2.4, well, try the 5. And if you're already on your 5, try your 2.4 gigahertz channel just to see if this is an issue. Finally, another thing you can check is on your router, there's something called MAC address filtering. It's very rare it's happening, but I have to mention. So this, what it does is it filters the device that are connecting to your router uh, by going into the settings of your device. And obviously I cannot show you exactly how to do it since there's so many models, there's hundreds of them. But after connecting to your router, you should see MAC address filtering and you can turn this off. And sometimes you may even see your printer there trying to connect and the router blocking the connection. So hopefully this will solve your issue if you see that uh, your printer is getting blocked by your own Wi-Fi network. I hope this video was helpful. If you have another trick on how to solve this issue, please leave a comment down below or if one of these tricks helped you, I want to know, so write, a, write it in the comments. If not, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.